Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah and today we're going to do something exciting. Um, we're going to create a new skill. Um, I'm creating a new skill for my career mod, uh, for my occult hunter career. Um, so yeah, I'm creating a lore, occult lore skill, um, very similar to the vampire skill um, that we got in game. So the reason I'm creating a new basically a new skill is just because I feel like for my career it's about all the occults and not just vampires so I wanted to have a skill that you know tells you like like little things about mermaids when they go into the water their legs will become fish tails and uh, werewolves are the only one that transform into an animal I don't know I wanted something exciting like that so that's why I'm creating a whole new skill uh, yeah so that's what we're doing today I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a long video and I feel like I'm going to do a separate video for skill books um, because th that just needs this whole thing that's you know so sit tight Get your computer and just follow along. I have fully created the skill already, so I'm only going to go over the basics and how to create one, and um, then we have a look at it in game, of course, and see how it looks. Uh, so yeah, I like I said, I'm going over everything that I've already done for this skill. Uh, it's been taking me days to create this because I wanted everything to be correct. But okay, let's dive into it. We are here with The Sims 4 Studios. Um, I downgraded again to some source studio's wishes and that's just because in um, the new one in star I think it's called a mod that I have the thrift store overhaul where I have to change every single tag and every single clothing item in the sims 4 it, it, it's a little bit slow and I like to work really really quickly so I change back to wishes and wishes works fine um, so yeah first things first we will only need the sims 4 studios so to create a skill you do not need to go into um what is it called script files we don't have to get into that uh we will be using the xml injector so check out that video if you are confused or have problems um but yeah first things we are gonna go and extract a tuning and we're going to basically steal a skill from game that is very similar to the skill that we are trying to create. So in my case, it's the vampire skill. And you're gonna find the statistic and then skill and then the name of the skill. So we're gonna add the skill to our file. Okay, so now we have added the skill into our package file. We have a um, let me see, statistic tuning and the sim data. Um, we'll be starting with the statistic tuning and then once we need to change something in the sim data, we will do that. So first things first, when we go in here, we of course need to change these numbers and we do it with the hash generator. So the easiest is just to write down how you are going to name this skill and then um, take the FNV64 place it at the instance and also make sure to place it in the instance for the sim data file. Take the name and then go into the XML over here and just paste. So now they will, they will be named the same thing. And then make sure that the instance number are the same as well. Okay, so here we have the ages for the skill. I'm going to just leave it as it is. Um, then here we have the icon and if I would have copied that, go into game file cruiser. Let me drag that out here. Say D, 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 T, S, D, S, T, whatever it is, one of those. <laughs> uh, yeah, here, D, S, T, image, paste, save filter. And now we can see what image is used um, for the skill icon. I don't want this image, I want a different image. So if you write down, for example, GP08, is game pack 08 in this case 08 is the spellcaster the realm of magic 
Uh, let me make the images a little bit bigger so as you can see this is all the realm of magic images so this is a way you can find images in the sims 4 studios so you don't have to import them first in the mod constructor 5 you can just try to find them in here it does take a while finding the image that you want because also the images for um, I think this is like a window image, all those images are in here as well. So there's no easier way to find um, only the buffs and other images that are in game. So Okay, so here I got the image that I'm using, so I'm copying the instance number and then just place it everywhere where it says icon. So there are a few um locations where it says icon we have icon over here um, and then if we scroll all the way down there is another tooltip icon list so place it over there it's just after only the um, the end part after the zero 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 part and i think those are the only two places now we gotta go into the sim data file and also change the icon over here um, just this part and the same with the tooltip icon over there that part okay so now before we dive into the levels um we're gonna scroll all the way down and then um here we have the mood id in this case it's a mood focused um i just think then when they're focused that the skill like goes faster or something i don't know uh, can't really remember it when they use the mood um, for skills, but I think that that makes logical sense, you know. Uh, and then we have the skill description. So the description, whatever it says about the skill, you can change that. Uh, what I like to do for the first uh, first thing, I'm gonna change the text for. I like to copy the numbers. Then go into string table lookup and paste the numbers. Say enter. Uh, make sure you copy the numbers after the X. And then I'm gonna just click on this and say add to current package. Close that up. And I like to just to delete um, the languages that are not English because we can add them at the end. So and then if we click edit item, we can change. The text um, to any description that you want honestly I can't really remember what I wrote down so I'm just going to say so I'm just gonna say occult lore let you know about more about occults I don't I don't know why okay um, I'm gonna click save and before we're gonna save I have to go in here so write down XOSCR, occult skill. This part is, by the way, always your creator ID name. So don't copy that. Um, and then just place whatever the name. And then we take a number 32 and we will change that. If we do not change these numbers, then for the vampire skill, it will also um, say whatever we typed there. So now we got to change this and then... If you want, you can just delete this and be over with it, or you can go back into here and then just copy the text that you wrote and then go back in here and then go all the way down and... <laughs> um, where was it? I've lost it. Okay, here. And then place it, you know? So it's, these are reasons why it takes so long to create mods um, for those that are perfectionists under us. Uh, so yeah okay and then we have the um well of course wait we have to copy now this and then go into this in data and find the skill description and paste it in there as well uh yeah and now we just go all the way down and let me for a second open the python program you don't have to do this there's nothing really okay because what i want to talk about now is that here we have skill skill level type and for me it says vampire lore but if you chose another skill it could say major it could say minor it could say child it could say teen it could say toddler it could say potty um so yeah this is basically the part where 
um, for how many levels your skill is. So if you want to create a non-occult skill and you still want to do like 15 levels, um, just use the vampire underscore lore and you can create a skill with 15 levels. If you want to do a one for adults, you can use major, uh, but have a play around. Because most of the time, that's why I said before, cho choose a skill that's already similar to a skill you are trying to create. Um, especially for the age group, because then you don't really have to have a look at this part. But if you do want to change it, let me just grab this over here. And uh, here we have the different ones that we can choose from. Um, I'm showing you this, so you can pause the video for a second and uh, know what to type in. Okay, let me remove that. Um, because here it says a vampire lore and then we have to go back into the data and change the skill level type to the number. Let me grab this again. <laughs> to the number that's behind it. So here it says four. If you do a major one, make sure it's zero, teen, three, toddler skills are five and a potty one is six. That's just what I wanted to show you. So. Um, you can make sure to have a correct number behind it. And yeah, like I said, you can pause the video. And then next, um, I recommend just leaving this how it is and leave everything else basically as well how it is. However, if you wanna, um, you do have to change the name. Now it says, mine says Vampire Lore. So change the name to whatever you want to change the name to. Okay, so now we have changed the image, we've changed the description of the skill, we have changed the name of the skill, um, and we have changed the amount of levels our skill has, we can now and write down a description for every skill level. You know, when your sim reaches the new skill, it has a little pop-up in the corner, the notification, and it says, reached. Um, skill level, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so yeah, you know that. <laughs> That's basically what we're doing now. Um, so here we have, it says key one, and that just means this is for level one. Then we have key two, means for level two. And this one all the way goes down to where it says 15. Here we are, 15. So if you have changed, um, if you've changed this area, this skill level type, um, please make sure to have the correct amount of um, keys levels uh, written out here. Um, so otherwise the game, it, it, it just doesn't work. Otherwise it's going to be very confusing and your sim is going to level up too late or too early. So make sure that's all correct. Okay, and so for every time your sim will skill up um they will get this screen slam over here so i'm gonna copy this and then extract tuning and then we're going to paste those numbers in here and set add to current package file then of course first things first we're going to change these numbers and we do that of course with the hash generator so I'm just gonna say, call it screen slam. I'm gonna copy that, paste in here, paste in there, and then we can um, change it. I'm just changing the name to this for now, and then go in there and then paste it. So here we basically don't really have to do anything besides change the text, because now the text says um, reached Okay, no, the text is fine. It's all fine um, because this will do it automatically where it says the two number and the one dot string. So text is fine. We don't have to change anything in here. However, why do we need to add this? It's because we do want to change the image. So again, I'm going to copy the image over here and then paste the image over there. Make sure there is no icon thing over here. No, there's not. And then I'm just going to copy that, go back into skill, and now for every level where it says level up, screen underscore slam, enabled, enabled, reference. Uh, so we gotta make sure that now every level up screen slam, that it all has the screen slam from the one that we just created. So we're just gonna go into reference and then you can just, honestly, what I just like to do, I just like to 
copy the whole thing and then paste it in every level. You do have to make sure you paste it in the correct spot. Um, so yeah, you can just go and do that and make sure for all the 15 or 10 or 5 or 3 levels, how many levels you have, um, make sure that everything is pasted correctly. Now we are getting into the changing the title and changing the description of the notification. Um, what I like to do personally, I like to create a different uh, file um, from like a, a different package file and I call it strings um, because going into here, typing whatever we want to type, going back, pasting, going back, um, copying the text, whatever it says, and then pasting it in here as well. It takes a lot of time. So that's why I like to have, let me open a new, uh, that's why I like to have the strings file. So here um, I just have all the images that are used in my mod and then I have the strings table out here. So then I go like this, like I, I have two monitors. So normally it's on my two monitors. Um, but yeah, now I'm like this and I can go here and edit, make this a lot bigger and then say, um, this is for example, the first text. So I'm copying that and then pasting it in here. I did do every single one with the hash generator. So it takes, it just takes a lot of time. And I do recommend just using the hash generator and not just typing in random numbers because someone else might have those random numbers. And if you use the hash generator and use the, um, make sure that you use your um, creator name first, then you will for sure have a unique um, code. So yeah, that's just how I do it. And then um, the first one with time says acquired whatever skill it is. And I'm under title, we're just typing in that. And then this is just what you do for every single level. Um, so in level two, it would say, for me, it says reach a code lore level two. And then the description, um, Lana has discovered blah, 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 whatever she has discovered. Um, so yeah, that's just how that works. Um, and, and that's why I like to use the two different, um, the two different package files. Cause it's just easier for me to go and, um, to go from here into here. And the same with the icons, because I can just go click here and say, copy that, paste that, because it's just things you use a lot. So. It's just great if it's like easier to get to. Um, it takes less time. Okay, so now we have gone over the notifications and the titles. Um, let's see what else we have here. Um, in when you get reach level two, you can get yeah. So in this case, we have the computer. Um, search for vampires too easy. You know, you will get this notification uh, and it says uh, that you, your sim's name and it says have uh, done so much research on this. They can't uh, do any more. Now they need to like purchase the books to do more research in this case. Um, so that's why this is over here. And if you want to use something like that as well, that is in your... Um, in, in your skill thing already that is similar to what you want. All you have to do is just copy copy the, the numbers over here from the affordance. And then once you get in here, just paste it and then add. And then in here, you have to change everything in here. First of all, of course, make sure to give it a unique tuning ID and a unique name. And then you just um, change things around in here and everywhere where it says something that has to do with your skill. So in this case, it will say computer use react um, vampire info to easy. I would copy that again and then paste it in here again and then add it again. It, it, you see, these are things why it takes so long. And then <laughs> you get into here and have a look around and then see, oh, there is a loot that says um, Vampire Research Notification Internet. So I'm gonna copy that one again and then go in here and then paste that and then have a look what that says. 
and in this case it will say uh, yeah has exhausted all information on vampires that he or she can find online so of course i do want to change this so i would change uh, the text and then um, change the text to instead of vampires we change it to occult uh, so it, it will be like it will make more sense with the skill and it won't just say vampires because that makes no sense it's an occult lore skill and not a vampire lore skill so I have to change that and then here as well I have to make sure that I'm typing in the um, the, the skill name so um, the skill ID so <laughs> paste it in here so now we changed the scale and this is like a fun part to look at as well it's because this area it just says that when your sim is um higher than level two of the um of the occult skill the skill we have we are currently working on um then it will get this notification so this what says here that they have exhausted blah, 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 all the information um so that will pop up and then they would just quit doing this if and then here what we can see um, let me make sure to copy the same numbers and paste those here as well um, so when there are less the threshold comparison less than value 2 what is level 2 um, they would get these pop-ups where it says uh, Lana read to the vampires prefer to sleep in coffins as an added bonus it protects them from the Sun uh, and yeah, you can change this to whatever you want to change it to. So these pop-ups happen when they, they're doing the research thing and it's like a little notification of something that they read. Uh, so yeah, so if you add the comparison less, um, it will mean it needs to be less than level 2. And if you don't add anything um, and just say threshold skill, threshold value 2, it means it needs to be, it will be, this will happen, sorry, if they are higher than level 2. So then if we have given this a new name, we gotta make sure that we also um, change that of course in here where the outcome is. And the statistic of course, change that back to your your skill. Um, so yeah, and then we're just going back into here after changing all of that. <laughs> it's, it's a whole thing, it's a whole process. And then one thing I do want to say, if you are creating this, um, like if you're using the vampire skill in this case, we have the whole vampire thing that the vampire's XP and stuff will go up. So just delete it. If you don't want to use it, just delete it. Um, gotta make sure that there are no crazy numbers here and that everything is correct. So you just leave it like that and just just go over the whole thing and everywhere it says vampire, change it or... Um, yeah, I'm just sh showing you this with the vampire skill, but there, of course if you use a different skill then it will look different. And then um, once you have fixed all of that, you can finally change the affordance in here and fix that as well. Um, so now it will be uh, completely finished. So if we're going underneath here, we have the books. In this case, we, on we only see book one and two. Um, however, for mine, I added the third and fourth book in here as well. Um, because I do want to see all of them once you click on the interaction to purchase more books. So I did that, but we'll go over that once we are doing the skill books. So yeah and in here we can just change everything in there again make sure to like okay leave the loots that are in here just leave it as it is uh, that should all be fine it's just anything that has the same name as your scale you're using so any any word for me that includes the word vampire needs to be changed uh, yeah, and it, it just goes on and on and it's basically just repeat for every level and just add however you want to um, change things. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to close this. Now we have a look at the one I already created. One thing I do want to mention is that I have the share occult knowledge, like an interaction. And... Um, Interactions, if you want them to only be available once you reach a certain level in skill, 
you do that in the interaction itself and not in the statistic. Here we only add items that are unlocked. Um, like I said, the books and then in the normal um, vampire one you have food that is certainly unlocked and um, the plasma packs and seeds, garlic seeds, whatever, the, the, the wolf spain seeds and stuff. Uh, so yeah, you do add those in here, but if you want to like have an interaction unlocked at a certain point, we'll just go all the way down and then there is the... So how to do that? Gotta go and find whatever I'm looking for. I already scrolled past it, of course. Here we are. Um, <laughs> You add this small area, you add that in the interaction. So it says statistic, statistic, and then stat, and then the number, the numbers of your skill, the tuning ID, and then the name of your skill, threshold, value, underscore threshold, value, underscore threshold, value, seven. So now it means that my sim needs to be level seven to have this um, interaction unlocked. So level seven of the um, occult lore skill. Uh, yeah. Then another thing I want to mention is that search for information. My skill, the skill, can only be unlocked if you are in the hunter career. Um, if you quit the hunter career, then you can still level up on this skill, but you need to have joined the hunter career. And um, because my skill can only be like unlocked when your sim does the interaction search for information on occult, so it works exactly the same as a vampire skill, because you have to search information on vampires for that. Um, but for my, you have to do search for information on occult. And then what I have added is that um, of course, you need to be less than um, level two of the skill, but because I've added this area where it says career underscore test, career underscore test, test type, career underscore reference, blah, 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 blah. and then here it says specific career, and this is the important part, and then add the numbers of your career, and then if you want to add the screen part, you can add that. If you don't, you don't. And then here it says user level enabled enabled lower bound one. So in my case, it means you need to be level one um, of the hunter career to be able to see this interaction even pop up. Um, I hope I'm clear. I hope I'm not too confusing. Uh, but yeah, so that's the only way you can actually start the skill because that's the only interaction that allows you to start the skill. Another thing I do want to mention before we dive into game and have a look at the skill um, is that when you export the, the, um, the career from the mod constructor 5, you get a script file. Just remove the script file and use the XML injector. The, the script file that is edit is these um, what are the career yeah the whatever career name you have and then the PTO interaction that's the only thing just delete that one for now because uh, yeah that's that's something I tested with last time um, but yeah it's only the phone interaction so add that so and um, if you add interactions, of course, for your skill, you have to make sure that they also are added to the XML injector. So I have the XML injector underscore objects. And then here I have the computer. Um, and then I have the search for information on occults. I added the statistic skill hidden occult. So yes, this is a statistic. Let me go in here. <laughs> the statistic tuning and it's not an interaction tuning but it still works it basically just means that anything that is an interaction in in this in these numbers are now also added to the interactions and this is i did this um for the books so i don't have to add every single book and also did this for the search for information on a cult the easy version um, so that's why I added just the skill in here. Um, and then for socials, um, if you are doing a social, make sure it's an add mixer interaction. 
And then um, I have the chair of gold knowledge, ask a vampire, ask if spellcaster, ask a werewolf. Okay, so here we are in game. Um, as you can see, we have no skills. Let me turn off the reshade. Um, and when I click on the bookshelf, you of course have the per case of vampire tones. Um, so like I said, I didn't even add it to here to the bookshelf because I really wanted this only be available by buying it online. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and now let's go and try to find the search for informations on occults. And as we can see, it's nowhere to be found, not even in the career. So I'm just gonna say and click find job. And we're gonna find the occult hunter. Okay, so now we have joined the hunter career. Um, as we can see, one of our promotional tasks, the first one is search for information on occults. So now we have joined the career. As we can see, here is our search for information on occults interaction. So I'm going to click on that. And it will give us the occult lore. Yeah, so now it says acquired the occult lore skill. Lana is delving deep into researching the different occults. There seems to be a lot of knowledge knowledge she could unlock if she continues to research. And it says research occult lore levels two. Um, Lana has discovered that there are five five different occults: ghosts, vampires, mermaids, spellcasters, and werewolves. Lana can now purchase Occult Tom Volume 1 on the computer under the Occult category. So I also created a new category. Let me first click on here again and show you indeed that there are no Occult Toms available. So if I click here and now we will have the Occult category. I click on that. We can choose to search for information on Occults again. Let me do that again and show you that now um, we will get a board moodlet because she's over level 2. Here it is, and the pop up as well. Lana has exhausted all the information on occults that she could find online. If she wants to learn more, she should order some occult books on the computer. Um, don't mind any spelling mistakes that are still there. I haven't done my spelling check yet. Um, but here we have bored occult browsing from internet browsing. Lana has learned everything on the internet about occults at least. Um, so yeah, now every time she's going to try that interaction, this will pop up. So let me order, because it's like almost 10 o'clock. Um, let me purchase a to occult tome. Um, and because, here the thing is, because I added the statistic to the interaction XML injector, um, we now see all of them in here as well. Uh, also, wait a minute, that's not the only reason, it's because I added um, all of them in here as well for every single um, level except for level one but like level two we have um the occult book volume one volume two volume three and the unlimited uh ultimate sorry what i've actually renamed to just volume four uh, <laughs> but yeah i've added all of those so that's why all of them are visible in here if they are not for you all visible then it's just because um you probably haven't done that correctly so um, that's why I just showed you how to fix it. You can also, if you really just want to, um, let me open it again. You can also just add them all here in uh, under the objects with the computer one. Add all of them in here as well, um, if you want to. But I didn't do that because I don't know. I just I just didn't. I just did it like this. <laughs> so yeah, I can now order the new book and this whole thing pops up. And and like I mentioned in the next episode, we will go and do this. Um, so I have named it Occult Tome Volume One um, by XOSDR. Who are occults and what? is the difference between each occult. So for me, I have done every single book as like a little, as, as like their own 
subject thing. Yeah, now it says thanks for ordering. The Occult on Lana per case will be delivered to the mailbox at 10 a.m. So that's something I wanted to do as well because I hate that everything just pops up suddenly in the inventory. Like, did we print it out or something or did it just magically appear in our inventory? It makes no sense. So mine is delivered to the mail and will be delivered in an hour um, because it's 9 a.m. So I don't know, we're just, we'll just wait for an hour. Sometimes it takes two hours um, before it starts thundering. Let me make it sunny. Well, I figured you couldn't reach the mailbox. But I managed to throw in a mail. <laughs> oh my god. Like seriously, the, the Sims needs to sometimes just fix whatever is going on. Um, I had to skip to the next day because the mailman decided to walk 10 times past my house and not deliver my book that I ordered. And now he's complaining that he couldn't deliver it. Um, it's right there. Um, so let me, yes, let me just quit my job for now. Like not quit it, but like cancel it. Let's get our mail. Okay, we collected everything and now we have our book. Um, and we can go and say read. And as you can see, um, while reading the book, the skill is going up as well. And now we have Lana has discovered that there are different differences between each occult. Ghosts are sins who have passed away and have not been released to the netherworld by a loved one. Honestly, I think it's what it's called, netherworld, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure at the moment. Um, vampires drink algorithms plasma to survive. Mermaids' legs will turn into a fish still the moment they come into contact with water. Spellcasters can cast spells or create potions to hurt other sims or for their own benefit. And werewolves are strong and they can transform into a real wolf. So yeah, I, I just thought that's like fun. Um, especially because this book is about who are the occults and what is the difference between each occult. And then we've got another pop-up. Lana read that vampires can break into your home to drink your plasma. Um, yes, they can. <laughs> you know, Vlad, when it, wait, wait, ugh, he's so annoying. When your sim just finally finds peace and goes to bed and then Vlad comes over and is like, I'm here to come and drink your blood. You're freaking annoying. But yes, that's basically how to create your own skill. Um, I hope I wasn't too quick. Uh, it's quite a long episode. But if you have any questions, uh, run into any problems, please let me know in the comments down below. Or you can join my Discord uh, and assign yourself the moderatory role where you can ask me any questions um, that you run into problems. So yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, in the next episode, what will be about creating our skill books. Very simple, um, very basic. Uh, I'll see you for the next video. Okay, bye.